Good morning guys, it is Tuesday. Today we're moving from this hotel in Uluwatu, which is the impossible, I think. Sometimes I get it confused if it's impossible or incredible, but I think it's impossible. And we're moving to this other hotel called Pink Coco. Now Pink Coco, first of all, it's my name, so that's kind of cool. But also it's known as this like really pretty hotel with like very cool interior design and everything. So we're very excited to go there. So we're still staying in Uluwatu to make sure we're nice and rested before we go to Tokyo. So yeah, we just packed everything up. We're gonna go get a cab and move our asses to the next hotel. So let's get going. This car here. Yes. Yes. It looks so good. It's so it's named, pink. It's named after you. Yes. <laughs> okay, we couldn't check into the hotel yet. So now we're at the beach. And actually, the beach is like, the water is quite dirty. So people are like um, cleaning it up, taking the trash out of it. I don't know if I can show that. I'll put my camera away right away because I don't want sand in it. But anyway, we're going to be chilling here for a bit and then grab some lunch. Lunch! Oh my gosh, I have fish, fried fish with fries. And then you have chicken quesadillas, right? Yeah. So good. Hi guys, so we just got to our next hotel, which is Pink Coco. And here's Leon. Yeah, I'll play for you. <laughs> <laughs> a lot here is pink. Um, I'm gonna do a room tour in a little bit because we have to go now. We just showered, but um, we have a massage booked here at Aesthetic Spa. They actually give you one of these wrist bands here. And if you have them, you get a discount on a massage. So we have one in 10 minutes. So let's go. And then after, I will show you around the room a little bit. But first, we're gonna finally get this massage that I have been waiting to get for the entirety of Bali. So let's go get that. The massage was so good, guys. I have some like spots in my face from like laying. <laughs> but it was so good. Even Leon enjoyed it, right? Yeah, Even though. Parts. Some of it hurts, right? Yeah, but it's like <laughs> an issue, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he's not usually too big into massages. I'm gonna do some makeup now because the photographer is supposed to be here in about an hour. And we're gonna have some coffee and chill a little bit. And then we're going to the beach for a shoot. Hopefully a sunset shoot, if everything works out. Hi guys, good night. It is about 10 o'clock at night right now. We had the shoot at the beach, which was so good. Also, we saw our first sunset. Like you guys know, I didn't have my camera with me because I've taken my camera to the beach once in the Netherlands and sand got onto the camera. And basically, if you get sand on your camera, especially when it's like a compact one like this where the lens like extends out of it, you can just throw it away like it gets in the lens and it jams and there's no use for it anymore it's super hard to clean scratches all over your inside of your lens as well it's just terrible it's a nightmare i had it once i had to buy a new camera it wasn't good so i decided not to take it with me which kind of sucks because i couldn't really show you what we did tonight but i can show you some pictures look at this freaking sunset wait let me show it to you without a filter this was the sunset. Okay, it doesn't look as impressive on camera right now. But in real life, I swear, it was so impressive. I don't think the sunset in the Netherlands compared to this at all. And then after, we had pizza. So, at the same place that we had pizza last week. So I wanted to show you guys that. We're gonna sleep now. I'll show you the room tomorrow. It's actually a really nice room as far as it's really comfortable it looks really nice and um yeah i'll show it tomorrow we've just decided we were gonna stay here for another five days but we've decided to return to Chenggu, so we just booked a hotel um before we went i thought it was a good idea to book all the hotels in advance to make it nice and relaxed for us because Leona has the burnout of course um, turns out it's not the greatest idea because some places you just end up really liking and wanted to, to stay longer like Changu 
or some places you don't like for example Ubud was too hectic for us I have nothing wrong with Ubud it was really nice but it was just too hectic and those are just things that you don't know when you leave so um, we shouldn't have done that booked everything in advance so instead we just booked another hotel but luckily they're not that expensive here so that's really great so we're going back to Changu guys for three days um, before we leave for Tokyo so anyway tomorrow we are planning on going to Kuta because we haven't been in a city for a little bit so probably gonna do that and I have some letters that I wrote for my family postcards and they don't even have a mailbox here. Uluwatu is very off-grid. Um, they have a few supermarkets, a few ATMs. You kind of have to know where they are. They don't have a lot of post office. They don't have a post office, apparently. It's like somewhere farther away. So I'm taking the letters with me to Kuta so I can mail them out tomorrow. Anyway, we're going to sleep now. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. We just woke up. I had to wet my hair because I wore a bunch of sleep. Do any of you guys do this too? If you wear a bunch of sleep, like this is the result, but like worse. I had to put some water in it to kind of make it look slightly normal. The quality of my hair has <laughs> not been the greatest here. Um, I've not really been taking care of it as usual. I'll do that when I get home again. Anyway, we are gonna go get some breakfast and today we're going to Kuta which I'm very excited about and uh, yeah, I'll do the room tour later because we're leaving now uh, so probably tonight it's coming, I promise but first we're gonna go have breakfast at our favorite spot, Suka Espresso the pancakes or something else and then we're gonna go to Kuja so yes, let's get started with this day Woo! Leon forgot his shoes at the desk, <laughs> but he's got them again. <laughs> Our favorite breakfast once again. Leon has the banana kind and I have the tropical kind. Hi, we just got back to the hotel. We looked, while we were having breakfast, we looked into Kuta and what to do there. And basically we came to the conclusion that it wasn't really what we thought it was. As far as it's more of like a partying city and there is some shopping, but we're both not really, I guess, wanting to travel that far just to go to a mall so we've decided to change plans we're going to Thomas Beach here which is a little bit of a hidden beach here in Uluwatu uh, we haven't really been beaching we went to the beach yesterday but other, for like an hour but other than that we haven't really been to a beach while we're in Uluwatu which is kind of crazy so we're gonna change now and get our stuff and we're gonna head to Thomas Beach so I don't think I'm going to bring the camera, but I'm bringing my phone so I might just be able to take some snapshots on my phone there. Okay, I'm ready for the beach. This top, by the way, you guys have been asking me where it's from. It's from ASOS and I tried to link it before. I'll try it again for this vlog, but it was sold out. But it's like the best bikini top ever. It's so comfortable, like really nice thick straps. So pretty. Jeans are fresh and over. So yes. Head to the beach. I'm keeping the camera here and taking my phone with me. And I hope I can make some nice footage for you guys on my phone. It should be fine. Okay, we think we found Thomas Beach. We had to go down this like dirt road on the, the bike, but there it says Thomas Beach. So let's see if it's actually true. Oh my god, this is so pretty. We read online that this is kind of like secluded. Not a lot of people knew how to get here. And I guess that's, oh, there's beds there too. Maybe that's really nice. Wow, this is like, like it's paradise. Amazing. It's amazing. Can't wait to chill there. Oh, so good. I'm so glad we changed our plans yeah. for this. Okay, let's go down there.
we're back from the beach and we're showered. I actually think I got quite a tan. Leon's not naked, by the way. <laughs> he has boxers on. But I decided let's do the room tour. I'm gonna actually edit here for a little bit now for the last weekly vlog. But it's just clean. They just cleaned everything. So I'm gonna show you what the room is like. So first, let me start outside, walk in, and then I'll tell you about everything. The door is pink, first of all. Everything in this hotel is basically pink. So you walk in. Hmm. This is weird. Okay, there you go. And then the first thing you see is this little corner right here, which is not the bed. This is just a little duvet, I guess you call it, to chill. And it's so nice, actually. I'm gonna sit here and edit in a bit. We actually had some pizza left over from last night. If you're in Uluwatu ever, La Baraka, La Baraka is a great restaurant for pizza. So good, we just had those leftovers. Um, with a little window here that you can open. Some beautiful photographs. Very nice, and this gorgeous lamp. And uh, we keep the windows closed because the aircon here is great. So if you're into aircon, you have it here, then we have a TV and this little table that we use to put like our essentials on, a little uh, bin. We haven't watched TV since in Bali. I don't know why you would, but also at nighttime, they come into the room and there's a little uh, scented candle right there. They light this, if you're not here, if you're gone like eating, they will light a candle and they will like make the bed and make everything like very romantic and stuff. So that's really nice. So this is the bed. As you can see, it has a clambu, which we love, a clambu. Um, it's all over, so at the top as well. There's a fan if you want it, but we've been using the aircon mostly. But yeah, this bed is really, really great, super comfortable, really nice sheets, not sweaty at all, or like hot if you're afraid of being like overheating at night. This is great, it has this like art piece behind it. And then here, is a bunch of my trash because I am trash. <laughs> I leave are. trash everywhere. Yeah, but you're not trash. <laughs> no, but I do leave trash everywhere. Here's a little mirror. Hi, I'm wearing my Han Solo Star Wars shirt. Oh, I mm -hmm. into Star Wars. Yep, forever into uh -huh. Star Wars. And me making a little coffee. Cafe, Does, yes. Did you say, tell about uh, Bali coffee? Oh, you can get coffee here and it's called Bali coffee. You might think this is something really fancy, it's but not. basically oh. it's just regular coffee. But what they do is they put the coffee powder in and then hot water, but they don't drain it. So there's... Yeah. I just prefer <laughs> cappuccino because if you get a Bali coffee, your last sip is the best one because <laughs> it's not all like, uh, do you say it again? Mixing it mm -hmm. with the water. It's just so like... So you just zip with sand. A lot of coffee. <laughs> so they don't drain it. So the coffee's just on the bottom of the cup and at some point you make the mistake of taking a sip and all of the like coffee yeah, stuff comes it with it and it's just not good. order cappuccino if you just, make your coffee. Just regular is better. Or for some people who know how to handle it and not make mistakes, Bali coffee might be great. Yeah, but we ordered it at restaurants. I mean like, why would they ruin their own coffee? Well, maybe it's not, maybe other people don't think it's ruining it. I, just for us, because we're clumsy maybe. And we didn't know. Clumsy? No, we just got it like into complete, you know? It's, it's, it's already brewed and into a cup of coffee. Yeah, okay. I don't so know. Anyway, that was our experience. order it. Take my advice, <laughs> not hers. <laughs> okay. So also, here, um, there are some l baskets right here that are for laundry, actually, which is great. So a bunch of clothing storage. And then here we have a fridge and some coffee making and the safe. And Leon's you know, actually making coffee. Have you ever noticed how when you're on holiday, um, water cookers always take forever. This one takes like five minutes to boil some water, but it's fine. Another pink door, a bra that I left. As you can see, I didn't clean up for this, but anyway, uh, the bathroom. The bathroom is an outside bathroom. All of these bathrooms have racks which are great for drying your um, bikinis and stuff. This is a really, really pretty outdoor bathroom, like little stones here, and this is all really pretty. So this is basically open, but it's like shielded off. And then the 
ceiling is made out of wood and it has this really beautiful uh, shower that is basically why is my game so strong? We're only getting strong here randomly. Something about Uluwatu, which is just a little fact, is because we're on top of cliffs, like 70 meter high cliffs, water pressure is low a lot of the time. So a lot of the times you'll be showering and like, why is there not that much water? It's because we're so high on the cliffs and it's hard to get water pressure here. So yeah, um, bathroom, little um, container here. Did you know that in Bali, you can't flush toilet paper because a lot of it ends up in the ocean. So you're supposed to use the toilet paper and put it in the bin which was kind of something to get used to, but you get used to it after a while. Um, anyway, so here's a little plant. And then here is the sink, which is beautiful, with a mirror, and there's me. And yeah, that's kind of it. Here are some beach towels. Once again, my bra, beach towels in a little bin. And then you go into the room again. So yeah, that was my little room tour. I'm not gonna go edit. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm so burpy. And then after that, we're gonna go for dinner. So, but first, let's get this vlog. So guys, I just spent the last, how long do you think, Leon? An hour, I think. Hour editing the weekly vlog. And then Premiere crashed on this bit. So I lost it all as far as the edit, not the footage of course, I still have it backed up, but I lost all the edits. So that's great. Um, any creatives out there know what it's like to work on this project for a really long time and then suddenly your software crashes and everything's gone and it's just so annoying. Oh. But anyway, um, I've decided I'm over it for now. I'm gonna continue tonight or redo it tonight. Uh, we're going now to, I think it's called Single Fin. It's a really big beach club here. It apparently has like seven restaurants, five bars, pools, everything. Oh, Leon. You have to put on a uh, swimwear, actually. Swimwear? Yeah, because there's pools. Do you want to swim? I don't know. But there are like infinity pools and stuff looking out over the ocean. Oh, but I put on these nice pants. I know, but... <laughs> linen pants. <laughs> <laughs> that you bought at Ubud. <laughs> but, yeah. um... Yeah, do you think you want to go in the pool? Because there's like infinity pools and stuff. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. Maybe just outfits. I don't know. Still deciding yet. I'm, I'm having this <laughs> internal conflict. Yeah, it's an error. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think about this. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we're gonna get ready and then we're gonna head out and go there. So I'll edit later tonight. <laughs> We did not like it at all. The food was good. The place we didn't like so much. So now we're gonna go look for a nicer place. Hi, it's nighttime now. It's about 10.30. I just got done uploading the vlog, the second weekly vlog, which is really nice. That one's going up in a little bit. It has 30 seconds left. The reason, by the way, we didn't really like a uh, fin, single fin, I think it was called. Yeah, um, I can I can understand how a lot of people do like it, but it was so, like, touristy, I guess you should say, right? Yeah. Like, everyone was, like, completely dressed up. Yeah, being uh, popular and, and, and like arrogant. Arrogant. Yeah, but also... You you see that only people who are here for like one week or two weeks or something. Yeah, there weren't there travelers. Were there, yeah, there weren't chill people or something. You knew that people only came there for... To look good. <laughs> to look good and, you know, to feel better about them, them themselves. But no, it was trash. It was really like, we call this in Dutch, to see and to be seen. That was definitely the vibe there. And that's something that 
I don't know. I just don't really have time for it. I like... It was like 40 gram. 40 gram, exactly. Yeah. And we like more just chill, relaxed, nice, honest, honest. traveling, honest, open. open. Yeah, it wasn't open <laughs> at all. <laughs> so anyway, that was why we didn't like it. But maybe you liked it, so we're not saying that there's anything wrong with that, of course. Yeah, but it's, it depends on people, I guess. Yeah. Because if there are another kind of people, I guess. Yeah. You got a different experience. With or if you're with different people, mm -hmm. if you're like with a group, maybe yeah, it's not. Yeah, I was an asshole, sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. Anyway, we're gonna go to sleep. Tomorrow we wake up really early because we're going to Changu again. I'm very excited, so I'm also very tired. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye bye. Okay, guys, I wasn't gonna film anymore, but this thunder I mean, you probably can't hear it, but it's insane out there. The thunder in Bali is something else. It's been thundering, it's not even raining. Oh, it's raining a little bit. I'm gonna wait for a thunder. You can hear it like rolling. Oh, <gasps> did you see the flashes? <sighs> the bad weather here gets insane sometimes, but it's actually so cozy. Wait, let's wait for one. Oh, you see that? This is so great because it's gonna be so cozy for us to sleep. So now we're gonna go sleep, actually. See you tomorrow. Hi guys, happy Thursday. We just woke up. Today we're checking out of this hotel. But before we do that, we're gonna go to your favorite again, Suka Espresso. They just have the best breakfast ever. So let's go get the motorbike and let's go get breakfast. Okay, so the real question is, am I going to order the same thing I order here every single day or am I going to go for something different this time? I tend to get the same thing because never change when you see, right? But I'm going to look at it. On the vlog! Got the same thing again! So did Leon. <laughs> we just got back from our favorite breakfast spot and this girl who worked there, do you remember what her name was? Maria, I think. Something like that. Um, she recognized us because we've been there every single morning ordering the same thing. So she was like, I'm gonna give you guys a freebie because you're such good customers. So we got a smoothie, which is the mango colada to go. Um, Leon's gonna have it because I actually had so much breakfast I can't possibly drink this too but this smoothie is so good Suka House is such a great place and their breakfast is amazing but so sweet that she gave us a smoothie to uh, to go for free so yeah anyway we just arranged for this taxi and everything we're gonna be picked up at 10 and then we're headed to Chegu again I'm very excited I'm also excited because I know there's some really great shops there and I haven't really been able to go in them I don't know if I want to buy a lot because I kind of want to save my money for Tokyo but I don't know, I just want to look and actually experience Chenggu a bit better than we did before but yeah, just packing up now got here but there's no one here we're trying to reach someone <laughs> we're a bit early so maybe that's why but got a scooter again let's go grab some lunch now yeah. thank you for maps you mean yeah. okay we found a nice place for lunch it's called the common we just placed the order so we're gonna have some lunch it's kind of getting used to like the crazy year the was was very quiet and chill and nice and here it's really crowded and uh, noisy but I'm really glad we're back in Chengdu again to explore some more so that's good but first, 
food. All I do here is vlog food. <laughs> Leo got tacos, they look really good. And I have just a pasta. Okay, we just finished lunch. It was really good, right? Yes, it was. And now we're gonna do a little bit of shopping because the hotel, we can't check in until 2 and it's 1.30 or 12.30. So we're gonna shop and then head to the hotel. But first, some stores. We found it. Let's shop. Fashion. <laughs> okay, we just shopped. I'm so happy, we already put it on. Now we're gonna go to the post office to mail out my postcards and then to the hotel. <laughs> this helmet is so huge. Yes, helmets are always too big, but I have a small head. Yeah. I can't even put glasses on a lot of the times so because those are too big for me too. I think it looks cute on her. Thank you. Do you agree? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the comments. There is your Oh, I think I found it. Is this the post office? There's supposed to be a post office here. Okay, we just handed in the letters. It took them, I think, five minutes to put three more stamps on. Took his time, which is fine. But I, I'm surprised if they ever arrive. We'll see. Maybe it's gonna take three months. I don't know. But now we're gonna go get some water. <laughs> Okay, wow, I'm so red because it was so hot out, but we were just able to check into our new hotel. We actually got a welcome drink. Is it good? Yeah, it's watermelon. Watermelon, oh. <sighs> Look, it's so pink. Mmm. Wow, so good. All the like fruit stuff here is so much better than at home. Let me give you a little room tour. I'm gonna start outside, walk down to the room. We're actually- Oh my God, look at that, that's the insect over there. Where? Oh, it's another one, Never mind. This, this one is smaller, but I'm sorry. Uh, uh, there, we're next to a rice field, I was just gonna say. And because of that, there's water and stuff, so there's like a lot of insects here, so we're gonna try and keep everything shut. But I'm gonna walk out and show you the room for tonight, or for the upcoming few days, actually. Okay, so there's stairs from the reception, and then there is this rice field. And then you walk down the steps, and basically, you it looks like this. Our room is like in a little nook area with like beautiful flowers and everything so nice so you have these little steps and then here you have a little patio and there's like concrete here which i think is like really cool design wise and there's another little chair and then here are our sliding doors and here's me hello okay let's oh no that one doesn't open let's put this one up you come in the room and there's leon First of all, there's this little like seating area, which is really nice it's, with like a little rug. It's, it's like a li little living room. Yeah, it's actually very nice. The floors are these like really clean tiles. Maybe we can just cook this all year long. Yeah, it's great. We have a TV and like a little desk set up or how do you call that? Like, I don't know. We have a different name for it in Dutch, but here is our little fridge, has a bunch of stuff in there. And then there's a desk with a water cooker, water, and I don't know what that is. And this is what the bed is. Sorry, this room tour is not that good. <laughs> Some of them have been pretty nice, but this one, I don't know. I'm just not doing a good job. This is the bed. Wow, the bed's huge, by the way. Yeah. It's so big. It's like a king size bed with this art on the wall, these hats. And I love the back of the bed. I actually think it looks very Japanese. Do you guys think that too? It's very nice. The style of this room is very nice. And then here you go into the bathroom. There's the shower and the sink. I love the sink. I think it's really pretty. There's me. And then there is the toilet. And that's it. That's the room. And it's very nice. So, I don't know what we're gonna do now. I think for sure chill for a little bit because we're quite tired actually from traveling again today, of course. So we're gonna chill. Leon has a plan of taking some pictures later today. So we're gonna do that. Do a small vlog. And he's gonna vlog it. If you're not subscribed to his channel, do subscribe. Um, but yeah, before that, I'm just gonna try and cool myself down and drink some water and some watermelon juice, so yes. We just took a shower and I've got my skirt back on. I'm so obsessed with this skirt. I'm so happy it fit. 
I've been having some trouble here fitting into clothes. So it made me feel really good to be able to wear something. We actually got the selection from the photographer, so we're gonna look at it right now and make a selection. Oh my gosh, there's like mascara all around my mouth. Um, also, it started to get like really cloudy out and we just heard some thunder. So it's probably gonna rain in a little bit. We were gonna shoot tonight, but if it's gonna rain, we'll shoot tomorrow. I have this beautiful Shein dress to shoot in. But um, yeah, maybe sometimes weather in Bali, there's no way to track it. It just changes all the time. And um, sometimes it rains super hard for half an hour and then after that it's the most beautiful sunny day again. So there's really no telling. So we'll see what we get to do today. Okay, we just made this selection. Now I'm gonna eat something, uh, which it looks like this. I already took the top off. It has a really cute top. This is called a Magstein. And I had this 10 years ago when I first came to Bali. And I was obsessed with it um, as a kid. <coughs> I remember you opening it by just squeezing it. And then you just open it up. And basically on the inside, it's like a cross between like a, a mandarin and a lychee. And I remember absolutely loving these and then coming home to the Netherlands and buying one and being like, this is disgusting. And these are the kinds of fruit that are only good when you get them actually on Bali. So, oh, so good. I'm obsessed. This really, really brings me back. They just came to bring us coffee to the room. How cute is that? We didn't even ask for it. So yeah, also it's still quite rainy out. So I don't know what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get burgers. Can't wait for them. I think here. <laughs> I was like squinting my eyes all the time, but I have them because of that. So that is quite nice. Good morning guys. It is currently Friday. We just woke up and we had some breakfast. I actually forgot my camera for the first time, by the way, since being here, I forgot my camera to do something. That aside, we're going to the pool because Leon wants to record a bit of a video. So we're gonna go do that. And um, yeah, we're gonna have a chill day today. So it's gonna be good. It's about 12.30, we're now at a lunch spot called Two Moods to go grab some food. I actually have a story for you guys. When we get back to the hotel, I'll tell you what just happened. It was kind of an experience, right, Leon? That was okay. It was fine, but I'll tell you the whole story later. First we need food, because we're hangry. As promised, a little update on what happened this afternoon. Uh, we just chilled by the pool, by the way. We've been having kind of like a down day today, which is really good because I really needed that. Anyway, when we were on our way to lunch earlier, we 
a lot of people by the way usually we do wear helmets i know that in the in the video that i took we didn't and then today leon didn't have one on but like 90 percent of the time we do but in this instance we only had one so he gave it to me so i was wearing the helmet and leon was driving without one and we suddenly got stopped by the police we had to come into the office and everything and what you should know about uh, police on bali and even locals have told us this they're very corrupt and they're they really try to find like victims to make money off so like if you look at the streets here a lot of people don't wear helmets a lot of people do but a lot of people don't but we got stopped taking into this little office which was actually kind of i thought it was kind of scary a little bit but i was like we're gonna be fine we're probably just gonna have to pay for something but we're not gonna go to jail but um basically he said we had to go to the bazaar tomorrow and pay 1.2 million rupees um and i was like okay that's not that nice because we're not in the bazaar and then we have to go there and go to the court and stuff he was telling us and whatever getting a ticket but luckily after a little bit he was like or you can just give me three hundred thousand and you can go so we gave him the money and then we left but uh, it was quite an experience i'm not so good at storytelling you guys i'm much better at showing you guys things but um it was quite an experience to be stopped by the police and given a fine i've actually never been stopped by the police and given a fine before in my life so for it to happen here was quite an experience but um, yeah ever since then we've just kind of been chilling in the hotel room and leon actually just placed a reservation for tonight for dinner i'm very excited we're gonna have some really good pizza so yeah it's gonna be good also the lunch place i had a smoothie bowl we were we wanted to get some lunch and i was so excited i was gonna get this like really good pasta with truffle and stuff and then it was like one o'clock and then we we're like no we only have breakfast available so we were only able to order breakfast things so uh, I'm kind of hungry because I just had a smoothie bowl. So we're gonna go have some dinner in a little bit. I don't even know if you can see this. You probably can. It's always so hard to capture rain on camera. Sometimes when you zoom in a lot, you can see it a little bit. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it. But it's so rainy, but also so sunny at the same time. Leon selected a restaurant for tonight. It's called La Romeo, right? Da Romeo. I got a box sale because I'm not really that into drinking as of lately. I'm not reacting well to alcohol, so I'm really excited that they have really nice cocktails here, or mocktails, I mean, with marshmallows on it. Looks so nice. Good morning guys, it is Saturday and today is our final full day here. Um, we still have tomorrow because we're only flying tomorrow night. But today is the last day that we actually sleep here and stuff. So um, yeah, we just woke up. We're about to go to breakfast. I didn't show you guys yesterday, so I'm gonna show you guys today. So let's go grab some breakfast. Okay, we decided for today we're gonna go to rice fields here in Chenggu because we haven't really seen those. So we just picked a place for lunch, a varong, at about 15 minutes drive, and then we're gonna have some lunch there and then go explore the rice fields here. We're at Avarong now. We already saw some rice fields. They're really nice here, aren't they? Yeah, they're less touristic and just better. Yeah, less attractive. And Leon is sitting all the way over there. Do you care to explain to them why? I guess it stinks. <laughs> no, it's because of the bees. Because there are a few flowers. The bees are like this huge, and you hear them like it's next to your ear. And I'm not a fan of them. So not really. Not really. <laughs> I mean, insects, I, I don't mind, but bees? It's not good. And it's not good. <laughs> Was for bees. I don't like them. <laughs> Leon has his food, and I have a milkshake. 
vanilla and then I have satay coming. I'm very excited. Oh, here it is. <laughs> so good. Okay, food was great. Now we're going to the rice terrace. I always look so fly on the camera. I'm so fly looking, bitch. <laughs> yes, bitch. Leon has decided that he thinks that this is where we have to go. <laughs> oh my gosh. No Google Maps for me. No, oh look, it's like mud. It's right. Nice. You think this is the right way? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Over here. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Nature. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Having good fun. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, get it. Get it. Hey, oh, no. Oh. You get to me? You rats. Yes. Leon is always right. <laughs> She was always left, so... Oh, you want to say wrong? Yes. Yes. But that's the funny thing about it. I was making a joke. Oh, yeah. Thank, for, thank you for ruining it. Oh. But look at this view, though. This is beautiful. Yeah, I think... It's quite nice. I hope nice. we can drive around. Mm -hmm. I think so. Maybe if you go left. Let's try. Yeah. It's going on an adventure. In the what? <laughs> going on an adventure. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We just got home and ready. I popped a few zits, I'm sorry. Um, Leon is actually the photographer we met up with earlier this week. Uh, we're gonna meet up with him again and Leon is gonna fulfill his kind of like, I guess the dream is too big of a word, but goal he had for here in Bali, which is to rent uh, a bike, a scrambler, and to ride on the beach with it and take pictures. So I'm coming along even though I'm not feeling quite as good as normal but um, I'm coming along just for the fun of it and to document it a little bit and to sit on a beach so I just got ready and we're headed to Starbucks now it's kind of strange to have Starbucks here I know it shouldn't be strange but for some reason it feels out of place a coffee place like that but um, we're meeting up at Starbucks and then we're gonna go to rent a bike and to the beach so yes look at this this is so cute yeah Thank you, you too. I think I like that one more, don't you think? Yeah. I can't sit on the back, can I? Uh very hot. It's very hot. <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Is this not a with the bike on the beach? Okay, so Leon is shooting now. I'm sitting on the beach. I look like actual trash. Oh my god, I look so bad. I haven't looked this bad in a long time, but I don't, I feel bad. So it makes sense. But I'm just sitting here, waiting, and they're gonna shoot. And Leandro is actually a really good photographer. If you wanna follow him on Instagram, then I will link it down below. But let me show you what they're doing. Ooh, bits, get up ready, bits. Yes, baby! Looks so good, baby! Yes. Oh my god, I was just sitting. I'm zooming in on this right now. I hope you can see it. There's a snake on the beach. A snake. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I like stood up and I'm running away. <laughs> we just ordered some food here on the beach and it's from this like really tiny little hut. 
and it's gado gado and it's actually so good and it comes on a plate which is so cute sorry it was like something on my foot again <laughs> leon's having it too <laughs> very nice okay we just got back to the hotel can you hear the sound of the crickets here it's so loud so loud we are now gonna walk to the mimi mart to get some snacks and stuff we actually had gado gado on the beach which was really good but it's been a while so we're gonna go get some snacks and then we'll shower later you can't see me at all probably um what was i gonna say oh yeah i can't believe i saw a snake today two two uh, actually one a lot bigger on the bike i didn't see it see it when you saw it yeah i almost almost drove over it i asked the photographer if they were poisonous he said yeah maybe but it's okay <laughs> but it's okay. it's okay i was like oh okay <laughs> anyway we're going to the supermarket when it comes to travel the supermarket is my favorite place a lot of the times supermarkets pharmacies I love them, I don't know why. So we're gonna go there, get some drinks, some snacks. Pardon? Yeah, there, Mini Mart. So, let's go. It's the Mini Mart. Open 24 hours. Yes, got the goods. But they didn't really have like normal food. So we're gonna order some food to the room later with uh, Goyek, which is the greatest app of all time can order food, a driver, anything. It's great. <laughs> I'm a little bit naked because I'm tired of clothes at the moment, but I wanted to show you what I got. This is such a recommendation. This is high tempura, uh, fried seaweed in the spicy kind. This is such a good angle, but it's great. So I'm gonna eat that, snack on that, and then we have pizza delivery coming, so it's real, real good. has a bunch of people on the box. I don't know why. It feels quite light. Oh, nice. I'm excited to tuck into this. Say something. Yes, I just started the vlog. Oh, okay. Coco is annoying. She's like twerking with our booty over there. <laughs> and normally twerking is nice, but I have a headache. <laughs> She's annoying. <laughs> She's annoying ass, <laughs> literally. Yeah, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Lay your when, when, with your head. When she gets tired, she's the mo most annoying person on the planet. <laughs> Seriously, it's not even a joke. <laughs> Wish I had a vlog camera too. Yeah to capture it so you have some proof but um yes thank you for watching for this late night vlog of leon and <laughs> yes <laughs> i make one sound <laughs> and coco makes my sound 10 times <laughs> i don't know why i think she has a mental problem or something, I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, she's hot, so it's okay. <laughs> yes. Good night. I will try to end up this. What the fuck? Oh my god. It's, it's not stopping. Oh, okay. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning, it's Sunday, we just woke up. Today is actually our last day here, I can't believe it. Tonight we are flying to Tokyo. Cross your fingers, everything goes well. I'll be documenting the whole travel part as well because it's kind of like special, cir special circumstances, of course. We just woke up. We are now before breakfast, going to head to the bike shop to uh, turn in the motorbike that we rented yesterday and get our other motorbike slash scooter back and then have breakfast but first we have to hand in the motorcycle so we're gonna go do that right now we've got our bike back how does it feel to have a scooter again uh, that's cool 
but easier to go. Yeah, it say. is. <laughs> it's a lot more comfortable too. Let's go have some breakfast. Yeah. Okay, we're packing now. So we're actually leaving tonight and we have to check out in a little bit. Then we're gonna go uh, to Leon's tattoo appointment, but we have to put all the bags at the front office, of course. So, oh, I was gonna film that. Oh. We just got our laundry back. I'm sorry. That's okay. So that's really nice. It's always in like a bag. It's all fresh laundry. So we're gonna pack all that. And uh, wow, you've got Are it. You good on me? You got it upside down. Oh, oh. yeah, another another woman. Wow, looks so good. <laughs> so yeah, we're packing everything, and then we go. It's crazy, but we're going. <laughs> Leon was craving Mexican food, so we're having Mexican food. I have a young coconut. I never knew I liked coconut water until here. It's actually so good. We just had lunch and now we're heading to the tattoo shop for Leon's tattoo. Yeah. Ooh, are you nervous? No. I just I need to know. I mean like I want to do I want to have the tattoo over here. I don't know. Do you already have shown? No, uh, I'll, I will at the tattoo shop. Alright. Anyway, I want to have the tattoo over here, but I don't know if it's possible, so I'm more like wondering and curious if it's gonna work out yeah instead of like nervous so okay okay we'll see let's go on our amazing scooter yeah Oh, it looks like you have like an injury. It is in a way, actually. It is, kind of. So now we're just chilling. We have to kill time till we can go to the airport because our flight's tonight. So we don't really have to be there before like nine at night. We're just quite late. So we're just having a drink right now. It's like, what time is it? Four. And then later on, we're going to go to dinner. And yeah, then just, I guess, catch a cab we also have to uh, go uh, to money exchange and stuff so I guess we need some time at the airport anyway I got a Chang'u tonic so I'm gonna have that right now and then yeah we'll just kill some time I guess we're just having dinner now before heading to the airport we both have, oh no <laughs> carbonara he has penna and spaghetti Okay, we're now waiting on the taxi to get here and then we're actually going to the airport. Yeah, time flies, guys. It's so sad. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit sad because it's actually like a really pretty night tonight. Fingers crossed for us that we make it to Tokyo. For us, going to Japan is just the right choice right now. It's a lot less chaos than in our own country. They've actually been taking uh, measures there for longer than they have been in the Netherlands. So we actually feel a lot safer going to Japan so that's why we are and of course we're not sick so that being said waiting for the cab and get into the airport you know it's really hot <laughs> yeah sweating my ass off <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're at the airport now, three hours until check-in. Looking at the screens and our flight's still on, so I think it's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna end this last Bali vlog here and start a Japan vlog. I really, really hope that you enjoyed these past three Bali vlogs. I definitely loved making them. Hopefully we get to Japan. If not, another Bali vlog is coming, so it's gonna be fine anyway. We're fine, we're safe, so that's important. I love you guys. If you want to, you can follow us both on Instagram. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!